So, I made the cardinal error of uh, squeezing, well I didn't do it, I was moving into this sublet and um, the bike had the wheel off and we jammed it in the back of my friend's Subaru and I think in doing so the um, brake lever got squeezed. So the wheel no longer moves, which is the problem I am going to attempt to fix with a butter knife. This is Mechanic Work 101 with butter knives. I feel completely confident I can do this. I watched a YouTube video. He was using a tool. I'm gonna use a butter knife. Same difference. Hello from my new San Francisco sublet. First of all, let me just address the elephant in the room here. My new glasses. Um, yes, I am rocking a amazing black eye. It's nothing serious. It looks way worse than it is. I got into a bike accident in the bike lane. San Francisco, thank you, someone ran into me. And then I uh, flipped over the handlebars and landed on my face. Good news is I have all my teeth and my collarbone and uh, you know, I was wearing my helmet. Hear that? That's my brakes rubbing. And the wheel does not turn. The problem I am attempting to fix is getting the pistons to release. So I'm gonna start by taking the wheel back off, which I'm impressed that we even able to get it back on. I don't know, I hope I didn't damage anything by doing that. There we go, through axle. Wheels back off, let me flip this baby upside down. All right, I just rewatched the YouTube video that taught me how to do this. We'll see how it goes. I'll link that video below so you guys can also refer to the original material if you like. So the first step, other than taking off the wheel, um, which you probably couldn't even put the wheel back on, if you have done what I've done, is to remove the brake pad. So my Langma looks nothing like the um, example. He's using a mountain bike. He said remove the pin and pull out the pad. So I'm guessing from looking at this, and I'm, this is a very educated guess because I watched the video three times. That's the pin that I want to remove, and I'm going to start by removing this. I'm gonna remove this little pin here, and then push, okay, that's not going anywhere. So there's like um, an indent on the screw that looks like it takes a flathead, so I'm gonna try. And it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's almost there. Okay, it's coming out. So now, if I removed the right one, I should be able to remove the pads now. All right, so in the YouTube video, he said the pads pull out the opposite direction, but on this road bike that I'm riding, the Langma, it does not pull out the opposite direction. It pulls out the same direction as where you screwed it out. So these pads come out this way, and that is how. I'm removing the pads, and so I've gotta be able to put those back in. Brake pads are removed. I have to push the rotors. If you can see, cylindrical thing right there, that's the rotor. Now I just have to manually push the rotors back a few, like, millimeters. It's not even a big amount. The YouTube video said I could use any tool, <laughs> so here goes. This little baby against it. Now that I've taken care of the rotors, I am going to slide these pads back in. They go from back to front on my bike. There's like a little hole and I have to make sure that the pin can go through. So I've got to make sure this is all lined up. So the pin is aligned. This is my left side, it says on there. It says on there left and right. I think they're in place. Yeah, let's put this pin in and hope for the best. Come on, little pin. Okay, so there's this little metal piece in there. It's not quite lining up. I'm gonna use the trusty butter knife again. Oh, and it worked. Now I get the pin in. Woo! Oh, almost. Yes! This is all about fixing your disc brakes with a butter knife. That's what I'm calling this video. Fix your hydraulic disc brakes with a butter knife and silence your cell phone before you make a video. Something I never ever do. Now I'm just gonna tighten this pin down. Mine takes a flathead screwdriver to get the pin tight. I feel like I should probably check and see. Oh, it's great. I think I did a good job. I'm just gonna go with it. Have faith here. Tighten this baby down. I got the bolt back in and now I'm gonna replace this teeny tiny little pin. I'm trying to remember exactly how it was. I think it just went on like that. Yeah, pretty sure that's it. So now the pin is replaced. I am going to put my wheel back on and see if I push the rotors enough and all's well. All right, so here's the moment of truth. Put this baby back on. Oh my God, I did it! Now, is it possible to open your rotors too much? That is the next question I'm gonna answer. Because I definitely feel it's a lot easier to put my wheel back on. Being careful not to touch anything in the apartment. Cool. 
check it. There's a little rubbing going on, just a little, ever so slight amount, so maybe I could have opened them even more. That's how you fix your rotors with a butter knife, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm gonna wash my hands before I touch anything, including my white base layer. Thanks so much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video with a friend if you like me. That's like the most helpful thing you could do. And hit the notifications button, the little bell, so that you get notified every time I make a new video since I'm not as consistent as I used to be, but I'm trying. Yeah, now the wheel moves, so woohoo! Did it, that's how you fix your hydraulic disc brakes with a butter knife. Okay, see you next time.